to rape Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Literally. Uh, or, I mean, uh, uh, you know, metaphorically, uh, rape Shia LaBeouf. Well, I, we were in uh, New York because we wanted to record the album, um, but we didn't have any drums, we didn't have a lot of equipment with us. So, for the first few times that we came down in January, it was very much like, uh, you know, we may have recorded, we may not. So, he had the idea, Matt, uh, Stevens over there to uh, go on the Shia LaBeouf stream because it was only the second day and it was just like you know this is this is happening Shia LaBeouf is throwing last year right in, in New York and we we're like should we go should we go and then we we're like you know a few drinks in a few shots of vodka and uh, some Jim Beam apple and oh, yeah. Uh, yeah and then, <laughs> oh, and then yeah. after after half the bottle of Jim Beam apple is gone we go all right we're not really gonna record tonight we don't have all the equipment, so let's go fuck with Shia LaBeouf. You know, let's go see, let's go see a yes. celebrity, fuck with the stream, and see, and just see what I'm happens. Mad, but yeah, but uh, right, we were saying the whole time, you know, rape Shia LaBeouf, <laughs> rape <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. But we're, we didn't, we didn't really want to. Once we got there, we were actually very He's friendly to him. Me. Yeah, you know, we yeah, actually we stuck like, up a lot of conversation with Shia, LaBeouf. and then we saw the cops, so we couldn't rape him in uh, yeah. broad moonlight. Metaphorically like rape Shia yeah. LaBeouf. Metaphysically. Metaphysically. Yes, mimetically rape Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Not good. Though. Using chaos magic, we raped Shia LaBeouf. We really did, at yeah. the end of the day. We really did, and we drove him to lunacy. Yes. Yes, he is. drove him worse than lunacy. No, he drove him to Albuquerque. You drove, no, <laughs> no, you drove him to Tennessee, sitting out there in the cold yeah. of the bat while random people go, God, God! And, and, you know, and you know, at, at first, I thought it was ridiculous, because of my own political ideology, I guess why somebody would just want to repeat a simple mantra instead of opening discourse and then after everything happened I was like well he actually did open a political discussion between people because I know I had a lot of good debates there so I, in the season 2 finale you know I actually set, apologized to Shia LaBeouf on the camera and thanked him you know the day before we were joking where are you Shia you know but then I was like this is actually a really good thing that he has this exhibit up in Queens and it's actually very respectable and then the museum abandoned it so I was like you know it's still not Shia's fault he still he wanted this to happen and then it moved to Albuquerque and that was alright and then it got shut down and then when the flagpole got put up that was kind of when I was like well fuck Shia LaBeouf because he's just trying to escape the one side now he's not actually trying to open up discussion he just wants to make it a liberal hug box for people that don't like Donald Trump and that pissed, kind of pissed me off, so, you know, I've, I've, I've since flip-flopped on that as well, but I think the whole thing with Shia LaBeouf is, is fucking hilarious. It's so fucking hilarious to uh, interact with a celebrity, you know, you, know, you don't get a chance that often, and, uh, you know, people say he's gone off the deep end, but how deep has he gone compared to fucking Tom Cruise or, you know, any, any of these celebrities, really, who are just vague uh, supporters of political ideologies. I think that maybe Shia LaBeouf is one of the most sane celebrities in one way, because at least he's trying to do something with his uh, fame. He can already support himself, so why build his brand, you know? In one way, it's the same thing. It's kind of like what I would do if I if I had money. It would be to do art exhibits and, and fuck with the public, kind of, but, you know, he kind of takes it from a righteous point of view, but I would kind of take it from a, a social experimental point of view, but, you know, Maybe that is what he's doing. Who knows? Who knows his uh, psychotic celebrity uh, psychedelic intent of Shia LaBeouf. LaBeouf. Um, all right. Agreed. Agreed on all fronts. Um, Why did you keep coming down to the stream? It was incredibly entertaining. We wanted to go back early, but it's 30 bucks each to get to the city and back because you live in Jersey. So we went any time that we were going to record for the album. So... Um, yeah, the next time that we went was uh, maybe two weeks after, because I mean, I, th I think they recorded it all, it was day two that we went the first time, and then day 14 and 15 that we went after, so yeah, it must have been two weeks, and uh, it was just, happened to correlate with the time that we were in the city to record uh, music, and it was so entertaining that, I mean, I remember the second time we were really debating again whether, you know, we wanted to go. And it was just like so compelling. It was so compelling to go. You know, we had to. We had to go back and uh, and see everything and 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 interact with the cam and 
after finding out that Shia got arrested, you know, that was incredible. The fact that he got arrested, it was like a, a mythos had been developed that we had to be a part of, full term. And you realize the platform that it gives, you know, and you think it's going to be up forever. So it's almost like you start worrying about your own brand. You're like, uh, how am I going to... How am I going to play out in the course of this actually good art project that whatever intent it has, you know, it's an interesting art project, so you want to go back. You want to be part of it, you want to be another brush stroke in the painting that is modern, postmodern art, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, what kind of people do you think watch this postmodern art? All kinds, because you had people from the um, face of it, which was the Shia LaBeouf crowd, which people that just knew Shia LaBeouf, I don't even think it was targeted or advertised towards any specific demographic, so it must have been just people who saw it and wanted to see, people with open minds, there were people from Poll who watched it, there's people who were just uh, generic, normal people who watched it, um, I think people of all kinds because I think what, it was like half a million views was at its peak, yeah. or something like that, so I mean, take that, all kinds of people must have been watching the stream. Why'd you start watching the stream? Or did you not? I didn't watch the stream until I had already been on it. And I didn't watch many much of it afterwards. Um, I, a few clips I saw here and there, like um, this guy who came down with a MAGA hat and uh, what is it? It might have been the solution in 1984, 1776, but it might have been like 1776 will come again or something like that. Was it the black dude? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I saw him like curse out a guy who was talking some fucking, uh, you know, Sanders cuckold uh, archetype guy with a sign and uh, he just totally stepped in. And of course, the cuckold instincts took, inst took uh, precedence. And he's like, oh, this is a black man with an opinion, so I'm not going to even debate him. I'm just going to shrivel in a corner. So it's just funny to see that dynamic work out. And, uh, and then Bog and Paper were there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, uh, that, that, yeah, that was, I think that was maybe, you know, day 13, day 12 or something. That was like a few days before we were planning to go in anyway. So it was pretty interesting to, to tune in every now and again and just see everybody uh, and, and how it all played out. Very entertaining, uh, but I only did it after we had gone. But granted, it was only day two that, that we did it. So I mean, as soon as we heard about it, you know, we went because there was a, the the day before um, we might have went to the stream as well. But we were in D.C. at the inauguration because you know it, it happened the day of the inauguration. So the day of the inauguration, we were in Washington D.C. watching Trump get inaugurated, and the very next day we were on the He Will Not Divide Us stream. So, I mean, as soon as we heard about it, we were there. So, before we could even have a chance to watch it, we were on it, you know. And then, of course, as we were already part of the lore, then you want to watch it because it's, it's a painting that you're part of.